Hi, hello, welcome back, guys. Anyway, so on the nito na tayo sa panlima nating marketing mix. We have the promotions. So for promotion, promotion is a function of informing, persuading, and influencing the consumer's purchasing decision. Um, this is about raising the customer awareness of a product or a brand and generating sales and creating a brand loyalty. Having said that, we have different examples right here or different types of promotion or activities na ginagawa natin every time we try to do a certain promotion. So, what we're more familiar about is the first one. The first one, it's about advertising. So, advertising is any paid form. Hi, it's any paid form of non-personal present presentation and promotion of ideas, goods, or service by an identified sponsor. Um, it can be in a form of broadcast, print, internet, or mobile. So, kapag sinabi natin advertising, we have this certain person or company or someone do it, some, uh, do it for us. So, in the form of advertising, binabayaran natin sila para mag-create sila ng persona, mag-create sila ng idea para sa atin, para mas bumango yung pangalan ng brand. Okay? Now, in advertising, we have five different approaches. It can be in a form of fear, humor, sex appeal, informative, or in a form of bandwagon. So, ano yung difference ng lima na yan? First one is fear. Fear is used by a lot of companies, especially kapag um, meron kang ayaw mangyari. So, let's say that... Um, for your, uh, for you to stop smoking. Ngayon, meron na sila mga nakalagay ng mga pictures, mga pakayatin ng mga sigarilyo, sa mga cigarettes para hindi ka mag-smoke because you know that um, smoking kills. Another example that they have is for pimples. Like, for example, this particular billboard. Okay? Are you afraid of pimples? You need to use this particular cleanser to clean out your pores, to fight pimples. This is initiating that fear to other people. Bakit ba ginagamit ng mga tao yung fear as a form of their um, advertising approach? Because fear, um, whether we like it or not, it effectively motivates, uh, motivates consumers to take the action, whether it be purchasing a product, signing up for a service, or donating to a certain charity. Okay, another example that we have right here is this one. This one is humor approach. Humor, it's a common belief that ads are supposed to be funny and it's supposed to be effective. This isn't always true, but using humor can be a good way to get a message or a brand to resonate with viewers. So this is um, something that Lomi, uh, La Lucky Me was able to pursue. Yung group nila, for example, naging matunog yung commercial nila, naging maingay for a while kasi nga, um, it caught a lot of attention. It caught the attention of a lot of people because of the humor approach that they were able to do. The next one. Next one is this one. Hi. So this is in a form of story or information. Somebody actually once said to us that sayang or sana iba na lang. Okay. So having said that, Okay, um, dun sa mga approaches na ginagawa nila, okay, um, dito mas nakakapag-create ng um, connection yung mga advertisers dun sa mga viewers or dun sa target market na gusto nilang mapuntahan. The next one is this one. This is an ad from Levi's. Okay. This was released um, noong Christmas season kung saan nagpapakita sila ng... Um, Nagpakita sila ng story of a loving father. Naririnig niya ba? Nakukuha niya ba yung message?
Okay, so this is another approach that they were able to do um, bukod sa pagbibigay na information, sa pagbibigay ng mga stories, they wanted to have that personal touch na parang um, we're here with you, kasama ka namin dun sa mga ginagawa mo and we wanna be part of that uh, specific story for you. So Levi's was able to do that for them. This is a much shorter version of another company from Chupa Chups. So we all know that their brand is uh, known for their lollipops and lollipops naman is uh, a candy na kinakain na mga young people, na mga older people, teenagers, kids and um, there will be that forever fun na sinasabi nila that forever fun attached to that particular um, sweet. Okay? So, dito naman tayo sa next approach. The next approach is sex appeal. Sex appeal. Now, this particular um, advertising approach doesn't appeal or doesn't need to be used for a lot of brands. Okay? Hindi to nag-work sa lahat. Um, this is an approach not appropriate for all of the products, but the advertisements that uses um, sex appeal must always uphold a certain level of taste and not cross the line into a vulgar uh, vulgar na territory. So, what do we mean by that one? One great example that we have here is Axe. Okay? Axe is known for their um, yung body spray. Okay? Dun sa body spray nila, it, they will always have that guy Okay? na sinasabi nila na merong axe effect. Okay? Na kapag yung guy na yon ay nag-spray ng axe sa kanyang katawan, um, ladies would be chasing him. Okay? Kasi that's the axe effect that you wanted to have or yun yung sex appeal na hinahanap mo dun sa mismong product. And uh, perfume, body sprays, fragrance in general, these are things that are really hard to advertise. You really need to use a lot of elements. Kailangan kang gumamit ng kung ano-anong bagay to associate these elements dun sa kung ano yung expect nila na amoy or kalalabas ang effect no mismo brand mo. So for Axe, this was the approach that they were going for. You wanted to have that sex appeal. You wanted to have that masculine effect. Um, yung parang... Um, musk na meron ng isang lalaki, then go for the axe. Okay? Now, another example is this one. This is um, what we call bandwagon. Okay? This is the bandwagon approach. You will see here in the video why. Bakit nga ba bandwagon? Okay, so this is an ad created by Samsung. Um, Samsung was able to push that idea of um, creating a product na hindi nila sobrang uh, hindi nila sobrang pinakita sa inyo. Bakit ba dapat Samsung yung binibili ninyo? It's so subtle at the beginning. Um, bakit bandwagon? Kasi when we say bandwagon, bandwagon means that uh, what you use of a product is the coolest one. Yun yung cool product, yun yung dapat ginagamit, yun yung dapat nakikita na product sa inyo. So, um, for iPhones, for iPhone users, they believe that um, they are the superior phone. They are the best product that they have. Now, for that one, okay, 
there's the iPhone, and then there's everything else. There's all the other products available in the market. Now, having said that, what makes iPhone unlike anybody else? Maybe it's it's uh, it lets you do many things all in one, or it lets you do so many things so easily. Those are the two reasons iPhone owners say that they love their iPhone. But um, apart from that, kailangan makita ng mga market nila na sila yung superior. So sa lahat ng ads din na pinapakita nila in the market, they want to say and they are acting as if they are the superior phone. Okay? Now, for other uh, marketing approaches, bukod sa um, advertisements, meron pa tayong iba't ibang promotions na ginagawa. One of which is sales promotion. Now, for sales promotion, Sales promotion is a short-term incentive to encourage the purchase or sale of a product or service. So, this means um, discounts, displays, coupons, demonstrations, yan yung mga nakikita natin. Bakit short time lang siya? Kasi dito, hindi to pwedeng um, all year round nakasale ka. No. Okay, that's not possible. So, you have to make sure that people will see that your product, like... um. For example, si Lazara, si H&M, sila may certain period lang or may certain, um, let's say, end of season sale. May ganun silang tinatawag. Tapos, um, alam nila that the effect would um, be good for them. Bakit? Nafa-flush out nila yung inventory nila and at the same time, um, sales keeps coming. Okay? Pero unlike dun sa original price, mas maliit yung mga margins. Okay? That's why it's a short-term in incentive. But you cannot have a sale all year round. Okay, next one is personal selling. Personal selling or personal presentation by the firm, sales force, for the purpose of making sales and building customer relationship. So this one, ito yung mga sales presentations, trade shows, incentive programs. So um, I've asked before, bakit wala tayong nakikitang um, Ferrari? na commercial, Jaguar na commercial, Tesla na commercial sa mga TV. Okay? Bakit? Kasi um, that's not their market. What they want is a trade show. Okay? Kung saan mapapakita nila doon yung mismo mga car show, uh, mismo mga kotse nila, kung ano yung bago, and then they start making box from it. Okay? So, hindi pwedeng um, bira ka lang ng bira. Okay? Personal uh, selling also entails having that incentive program. Incentive program meaning you have sales representatives, sales people at the same time who is um, communicating the product for you. Okay? For example, I have um, resellers, sales uh, medical representatives kung saan sila mismo yung pupuntahan ko para naman um, or sila yung pinapapunta ko sa iba't ibang air so that I could have um, a wider reach when it comes to my market. Okay? So dito rin, um, one of the examples that we have here is O-Shopping. I think that you are familiar with O-Shopping. O-Shopping is... Um, an example for this one, yung uh, magpapakita sila ng mga product, ano yung mga benefits niyan, and then um, parang in a way, uh, in a way, this is a personal selling. Okay? Kasi usually pag sinabi natin personal selling, like you get to see them face to face. In a way, O-Shopping is doing that for you. Okay? Yung um, ganyang approach. Another thing is public relationships or public relations. PR, a good PR Good or bad PR is still part of PR. Okay? Press releases, sponsorships, events, web pages. Now, these are just examples okay, of PR. You use different influencers, um, people who will talk about your brand. Okay? It's building good relationship with the company's various um, publics by obtaining favorable publicity, building good corporate image, and handling or heading off unfavorable humor stories and events. So, let's say that this particular influencer, maganda talaga yung image sa tao, dumadating yung sponsors. This particular influencer, influencer kahit ano talagang gawin niya ang pangit ng tingin sa kanya ng tao so that so ang uh, tendency is hindi ganun karami yung sponsorship na lumalapit sa kanya so having that PR okay that is also part of the promotions na ginagawa ng mga tao in order to sell yung mismo mga brand sila they will have um products attached to their names kung saan yun talaga yung parang uh, Bible nila, yun talaga yung parang um, they preach that product, they um, 
really love a certain product and yun yung sasabihin na sasabihin nila every time they create videos or um, blogs about it or um, Instagram stories or Instagram posts about it. Okay? The next one is about direct marketing. Direct marketing is about direct connections with carefully targeted individuals, consumers to both obtain an immediate response and cultivate lasting customer relationship. This means having catalogs, direct responses, TV, kiosk, internet, mobile marketing. So when we say direct marketing, simple as this. Your social media, your feeds, your accounts are different from mine. Okay? Meaning, yung um, Facebook feed ko, kung ano yung nakikita ko dun sa wall, dun sa feed na meron ako, is different from dun sa nakikita, dun sa mga feed ninyo. Pwede yung Twitter na mga follow ko, yung mga follow nyo magkaiba. Pwede um, meron ako nakikita ang ganitong tweets, meron kayo nakikita ang ganitong tweets. Meron akong follow na ganitong pages, meron kayo follow na ganitong pages. Having said that, these are curated for me. Okay? So, kung ano yung nakikita kong ads sa aking feed, those are carefully curated and directed for me. Meaning, based dun sa kung ano yung mga finilapan ko na information sa Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, based on the things that I liked, based on the things na nag-engage ako ng mga post, dun ngayon, tinatrack ni Facebook, ni Twitter, ni Instagram, nung lahat ng mga website, mobile apps na pinupuntahan ko, kung ano ngayon yung target niya directly to me. Is that clear? Okay. So, if you have questions, again, pwede nyo naman na kong tanungin. Okay? In a consumer decision-making process, um, we have the following steps. The first one is, you have to recognize that need. Okay? Kailanganin muna, kakailanganin muna na malaman ng isang tao na meron siyang pangangailangan. I need to recognize, ah, kailangan ko pala ng sunscreen, kailangan ko pala ng salamin, kailangan ko pala ng um, cream, kailangan ko pala ng this and that. You need to recognize that. You need to plant that in the mind of your consumers. Yun ngayon yung gagawin ninyo as marketers. Okay? The second one is searching for that information. You already know that you need a cream for your face. You already know that you need moisturizer for your face. But there are different types of creams or different types of um, moisturizers that are out there in the market. So, what you do is you search for information on the type of skin that I have, what type of moisturizer will appeal to me. So, I need that kind of information. And again, what you're doing is you plant those informations. Okay? Kaya nga, the first stage of marketing will always be awareness. You need to make them aware of your brand. You need to throw them the information, the stories behind your brand. And then after that, they start evaluating the alternatives. Let's say I have this from Nature Republic. I have this from Skin Food. I have this from that. I have this from Tony Moly. So if all of that are Korean skincare, okay, alternatives with the same effect, alin dyan ngayon yung bipilin ko? Based on my evaluation, ito yung lalabas. This is the purchasing decision. Okay, I've already evaluated five, let's say, examples of creams. Na test mo na sila, nakapaghanap ka na information, nakita mo yung reviews, alam mo na kung ano yung mga this and that. Now you start making that purchase decision. Okay, so binili ko na siya ngayon. Upon buying that, there's that post-purchase evaluation. What was the effect? Is it a good review or a bad review from a certain customer? Okay? That's why we evaluate. Even naman dun sa mga programs na pinupuntahan natin, sa mga talks na pinupuntahan natin, sa mga seminars na pinupuntahan natin, pumupunta tayo dun and then after a while, meron na siyang uh, may post-evaluation na siya. Okay? Kasi they need to know what went right, what went wrong. Okay? Okay. So again, um, in a marketing approach, there will always be that traditional and digital approach. When we say traditional, these are TV, broadcast, and print. Okay? Pag sinabi naman nating digital, anything that you see in your social media pages, ito yung engagements, Google, um, Google, makikita ka sa, uh, nasa search na yung pangalan mo, okay, AdSense, um, uh, 
uh, ano pa ba? sponsorships. Um, these are things that are um, nakikita talaga natin sa internet. Okay, hindi siya yung napiprint lang, hindi siya yung na- nagagawa lang basta-basta. Okay, so um, traditional, usually ito yung mga commercials, ito yung mga billboards. Okay, so um, the rest are the following. Okay, now, for the factors of an effective promotion, I think that um, factors in a good promotion, iba-iba yan, nag yan. Okay, factors for an effective promotion Of course, the first one would be credible, okay? Credibility of the communicator. Okay, let's say for example, kinuha natin guest yung mga nagpapakalat ngayon ng fake news. Siyempre, hindi kayo maniniwala sa kanila. Kahit anong sabihin nila. Let's say si Coco Pimentel, ginawa kong guest, okay? Ginawa kong um, mukha dito sa ating uh, lesson. Okay? Will you believe anything that he would say uh, upon hearing ko ano mga ginawa niya for the past few days? Of course not. Okay? So, kailangan credible, reliable yung ating source ng information and alam nyo kung saan kukunin yan. The second one is the message and the medium of the message. Okay? Yung mismong mensahe na binibigay niya sa inyo, okay, malinaw at naiintindihan ninyo. Okay? based dun sa medium na pinili niya form of um form of message na ginamit niya let's say nagpa um commercial ako or let's say nagkaroon lang ako ng um TikTok or nagkaroon lang ako ng Facebook live okay so depende dun sa medium na ginamit mo um based on that was the message clear um naintindihan ba ng lahat ko ano yung gusto mong sabihin okay kasi ako honestly for the past few days wala akong naintindihan kay kay president okay The next one, the receptiveness of the audience to all that is being communicated. So, again, kapag klaro ang mensahe, dapat uh, naiintindihan siya ng audience mo. And alam mo na naiintindihan nila based on sa response na ginagawa nila. Okay? How? Let's say that um, you created a commercial. Tapos dun sa commercial mo, marami naging sales. Okay, dahil doon sa ginawa mong commercial because a call to action that you want them to buy the Lucky Me. Okay, you want them to buy the Pancit Canton. Okay, so it was clear, it was evident. So, na, na, nakuha nila agad yung mensahe and nakita mo doon sa sales mo, it spiked up. Okay, so na, nalaman mo that the audience was able to understand what is being communicated to them that they need to try Pancit Canton. They need to buy a uh, Lucky Me. Okay, so it was clear. Okay, Now, look at this one. Okay? This one is an ad created by these two big brands. Okay? This was um, a day. It This blew up, uh, I think, last year or last semester. This blew up um, last year. Um, the ad was simple. This is a day without a whopper. The day we donate our guest to McDonald's charity. Bakit? During um during the day of um uh Big Mac, okay? Kapag Big Mac day or they call it something like that. Okay? Um nagdo-donate sila sa McDonald's charity para maging happy yung mga uh, tao. Okay? Tapos uh, mabigay nila to sa isang um Uh, I think it's in Argentina, if I'm not mistaken. Yon, every year in Argentina, McDonald's celebrates Mac, Mac Happy Day, a day in which a big all Big Mac sales are donated to a charitable foundation that helps ch- children with cancer. So yun ngayon yung sinusponsoran nila. So what did um, Burger King did? So in other countries, sila yung dalawang magkatapat, si Burger King at si McDonald's. Ang ginawa lang ni... Burger King was, lahat ng bibilin mong Whopper, okay, ay mako-convert into a Big Mac, okay? Parang, um, lahat ng bibilin mo sa kanilang Whopper, okay? I, I, um, ine-exchange nila para don sa, or dinodonate nila, okay? I-dinodonate nila dun sa mismong 
um, McDonald's. Okay? So, it was a day wherein simply wala silang binibentang Whoppers. Wala silang binibentang Whoppers sa mga Burger King chains nila. And lahat in exchange nila for a Big Mac. If you want a Whopper, you need to buy the Big Mac. Okay? For that particular day. So, um, they were able to sell 73,000 Um, 73 millions. I I believe this is 73,000 um or million. 73 million. Um, yun na benta nila na Big Mac on that particular day, and they were able to help a lot of people because of that one. So they released nila tong ad na to, and um, it was very powerful for them for both parties. Na kahit palay mga magkakalaban, pwede mag. Sundo, magka, maging okay. So, this was a supposedly your task. Okay? Um, supposedly, kasama yun dyan. Pero hindi ko na siya isasama kasi nga, because of this ECQ. So, um, we can't do this one. Okay? Next one. The next one would be the price. So, pag-iisahin ko na lang siguro yung magiging video ninyo for the the next few slides for this one. And then, we'll have um, operations. Magiging maikli na lang naman yung lesson. So, um, good luck to us. Good luck to everyone. I hope everyone's okay. If you have questions, again, um, just drop it dyan sa ating Uh, comment box so comment down below for any suggestions so goodbye guys and see you soon see you soon bye 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 bye